Good morning. It is 60 degrees. The sun is shining. I'm a little chilly, so I'm wearing a hoodie today. Um, and it's been about 11 days, so it is time for garden tour number three. All right, so morning glories have finally decided to start to grow and climb, which is pretty exciting. The peas are continuing to grow past the trellis. They're pretty sturdy though, they are holding on to each other. We have yet to get any peas home because Rulo and Baby Girl eat all of them as soon as they're ready to pick, <laughs> which is fine. So if that's all it is, is a snack in the garden, so be it. The bush beans are getting big. There's a big old sunflower. And they're starting to put on some blooms here and there. The lettuce has all grown back. Time to cut some more. We've got baby girl's garden here. Everything's growing, growing. Her chamomile is getting ready to put on flowers. She's got some baby tomatoes. Here. She's super excited. Oh, there's some big ones there. Super excited. Her cucamelons are all over the place. There's the cucamelons in this bed. And cucumbers, which have just gone nuts. There are blooms everywhere. And these cucumbers are going crazy. Going, growing. Sweet peppers are starting to put on some. Sunflowers getting big. Gourds are getting big. There's another sunflower. My loofahs are stalled. I don't know what's going on with them. I mean, they're growing a little bit, not very fast, but I don't know that much about them. So maybe they don't grow very fast. More cucumbers. Starting to trellis up. They actually trellis a lot better than I thought they would, which is exciting. And the banana peppers are putting on there. Here's real sweet corn. Which he is super pumped about and our butternut squash and our green beans and my little hummingbird is buzzing me because they need food put in those are growing really good 
This bed is a hot mess. I just can't. My beans have completely outgrown the teepees so fast. So I'm going to have to add some stakes to those and get that under control. Zucchini is crazy, crazy. Look at that beautiful bloom. Butternut is also doing pretty good here. Not too bad. There's the other set of green beans. One of beans. Gorgeous. Got some couple of sunflowers poking out here. Spaghetti squash, which is getting ready to bloom. There's a bloom on that one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love it, love it. And then all this zucchini. I don't know what we're going to do with all this zucchini. We'll do something with it. There's a nice one there. It just blooms everywhere on this plant. There need to be one there. Allie's popcorn is still growing. We'll see what happens with it. It's an experiment. Melons. They're filling out the bed. And the cantaloupe. Has some blooms. Some good sunflowers that have come up there in that space. <clears throat> Parsley needs to be trimmed. There's giant sunflowers there. And our asparagus. It's come back pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Morning glories in the baskets for growing up. We planted some sweet potatoes this week. They're doing pretty pretty good. That little sad leaf there, I don't know if that's gonna go, but it's still green and it's been in the ground a couple of days, so it should be alright. Chamomile has completely filled up the bucket. There's some sad blooms there, but there's a bunch more coming on. Calendula is finally starting to grow. Bee balm is starting to spread, and I was warned that the bee balm will take over the whole bag, so I was warned. The yarrow is looking much better, less sad than it was. And the lavender is starting to grow. That plant there is a store-bought plant because I have trouble waiting for things. And then there's the other basket. Looking pretty good. So we tore this bed out. Like I said, we were going to. We amended everything. We planted potatoes. It's late to plant potatoes, but that's okay. We'll just have a late harvest. I think it'll be fine. We'll just wait and see. 
All right. Tomatoes and peppers. Cherries. Got tomatoes everywhere. Peppers are doing good. These are the sugar rushes putting on. Nice. Tomatillas continue to grow. I'll tell you one thing I have learned. Two, well, two things that I've learned this with this first garden one is that peppers and tomatoes can grow together but I will not grow them together again because the tomatoes shade out those tomatoes the tomatoes shade out the peppers and they just don't do as well so that I'm not going to do that again the second thing, look at that banana pepper, yay. Well, these plants are so small because they're shaded. The other thing is I planted pretty much by square foot gardening. Uh, and I won't do that again either with the tomatoes. That will not happen. And it's not because they're not growing well or that their production seems to be less than it should be because they are putting on like gangbusters all over the place but they are too hard to take care of when they're this close together. We haven't had any problems with diseases or anything yet. Knock on wood. But I have also pruned uh, probably four or five gallon buckets off of this one bed. And I'm going to prune again today because it's time and time to tie up again. So next year I will only plant two rows. I will plant them about a foot and a half apart. And I think it will be easier for me to take care of that way. So excited about the tomatoes. These plants are doing so well so big. It's just crazy good. Scarlet runner beans are all blooming out, but I have got to get some more poles in here. And that is a project for today as well. So pruning tomato plants, poles for the pole beans. So pretty. It is a non-stop process. And I've been trying to wait until we have time it's not going to rain because everything needs a good Epsom spray now that we've got all this fruit on.
so yeah, that's my projects for today. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it, and I'm off to work in the garden. Have a good day. Thank you.